Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter what game or sport you are betting on. So, as we are entering the final stretch of the Major League Baseball season, the pennant races are still heating up. Lots of important games to be played, so we're going to take a look at some of the matchups. So, first of all, if you're not already a member, please join. You can access this VIP club section the same way I am now. It gives you all the tools that you will need to make uh, your predictions and your bets a lot easier. So, we're going to go down through here to see some of the games here for Major League Baseball, like I said, for this weekend. So, let's take a look at what we have here. So, we're going to scroll down here. There's a lot of great matches. But the first one I want to look at here is... The Yankees and the Red Sox. Here we go. The New York Yankees at the Boston Red Sox. You see the Yankees are burning hot at the moment. Best team in the, in the, in the American League facing the Red Sox. And you see here they are burning hot at the moment. Even though they are, they are coming off a 7-0 to zero loss, they have won four out of their last six. The Red Sox here are average up. They have won four out of their last six. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that the Yankees are at plus 29. The Red Sox are on a slight decline, but they are still at plus 17. They're still solid, but they are, they are on a downward trend. You see the comments that I made here. You look, you take a look at these comments along with the comments that other people have made. So here's a comment about this matchup. And if you want to take out the totals predictor, if you want to consider betting the over-under, the Yankees are playing in games trending under, seeing the red line compared to the blue line. And the Red Sox are trending a little bit over. So since they are trending on opposite sides of the line, it's probably best to avoid betting the over-under in games in this series. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator to see which team is more stable, you will see that the Yankees are the much more stable team at plus 40 compared to plus 14. What this means is that they perform more consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So if we want to take a look at the pitching matchups for this weekend, the good thing to do is go to the pitcher profit oscillator. And when you do so, I have it up here already. You put the two teams in here, Yankees, Red Sox, and you put in the starters. So I put in uh, Sunday's scheduled starters, Masahiro Tanaka against Rick, Rick Porcello. You can see how they are doing here in terms of pitcher profit. And you can see here that both pitchers are doing very well. You see this down here in the green, plus 1523 for Tanaka, plus 1358 for Porcello. A slight advantage for Tanaka, but both pitchers are, have been very profitable for their teams. The other pitching matchups, all three pitchers, Domingo German and J.A. Happ, along with Tanaka, are very profitable. And uh, David Price has also been fairly consistent and steady for the Red Sox. So we'll go that back to predictions overall. Uh, the Yankees have a better road record uh, even than the Red Sox do at home. And because of that, and amongst the other factors, I believe that the Yankees will win the series two games to one. Now we look here at the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. This is a, a nice National League East matchup. Both teams still have a chance at the wild card, although both teams have to, you know, win a very large percentage of the games to have a chance, but both teams are still in the hunt. So this this uh, weekend series will be important. You see the, Yank, uh, the Phillies, excuse me, are average at the moment. And they are, take a look at this, there we go. They have won three out of their last six, coming off of two wins in a row. The Mets are ice cold down. They have also won three out of their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you notice here that the Mets are in a steep downward trend at plus 10. The Philly are going slightly up now again. They are at plus 15. Considering betting the over under, let's take a look. See, the Phillies are playing in games trending over the line. You can see that the Mets are playing in games trending under the line. The under might be a little bit more uh, weight to it than the, the Phillies over, so you might want to lean towards betting the under or avoid betting altogether, but certainly do not bet the over. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you will see that Vince Velasquez is the only one in the green out of the three scheduled starters for the Phillies. Noah Syndergaard is the only one in the green for the Mets. Marcus Stroman has been the worst bet amongst all six of the scheduled starters at minus 1,393. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see which team is the most stable. Both relatively stable at plus 20 and plus 19, although both in a little bit of a down. Well, the Mets are at a little bit of a downward trend, and so are the Phillies in that category. 
So this is just to give you a little bit of an idea what to do as far as considering the favorite underdog status. I would lean towards the Phillies in this series and believe that their bats are going to start getting hot and they will edge out the Mets winning two games to one. You can see some more of the matchups. Here's another great matchup for the weekend. We have to mention this one. The Nationals versus the Braves. Both teams in good playoff position. The Braves should easily win the division. Uh, both teams are burning hot, as you see. The Nationals have won four out of their last six. The Braves have won five out of their last six. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. Not a surprise that both teams are ranked pretty high in that. The Braves are at plus 28. The Nationals at plus 23. Considering the over and under, well, let's take a look at once again at the trends here. You can see that the Nationals are trending a bit over. The Braves are trending a bit under. Again, they should pretty much nullify each other, so I would uh, avoid betting the over under in games in this series. How stable are the two teams at the moment? Well, you can see that both are really very stable. Nationals at plus 28, Braves at plus 34, so really take into account the favorite underdog status in games again in this series. So Washington is six games over 500 on the road. The Braves are 47 and 27 at home. That's a big deal. The Braves will be favorites. The Braves are very strong and should take two out of three in this series. Look at the Cubs and the Brewers again in the National League, National League Central. The Cubs are winners of four out of their last six. Although you can see that they've lost their last two, shut out the last two games against Milwaukee at home. The Brewers are burning hot. They are 3-3 three three over their last six. Let's see what we have here as the power rankings indicator goes. You can see that the Brewers are at plus 21. The Cubs are at plus 16. And on a downward trend, while the Brewers are on upward trend. Over under, let's take a look again. You can see under right now for the Cubs. And the Brewers are trending way under. So this is a very strong indication to bet the under on the games in this series, so that would be a very wise move on your part. If we take a look at how stable the two teams are at the moment, you see the Brewers are not very stable, so take it with a grain of salt according to what their favorite underdog status shows. So you see here now that uh, Milwaukee is 39 and 30 at home. The Cubs are really poor on the road at 28 and 39. And it seems like Milwaukee has the Cubs number at the moment because they shot them out the last two games. So expect the Brewers to take two out of three. And it would not be surprising if they actually sweep the series, but the safer play is to say that they will win two out of three in the series. And the best matchup for as far as the pitching goes is uh, Zach Davies on Friday for Milwaukee at plus 1,491 on the pitcher profit oscillator over Cole Hamels, who's also very strong, though, at plus 1462, so that'll be a battle. Uh, Hugh Darvish is the worst bet this weekend. He's going for the Cubs on Saturday at minus 1757. So we scroll down through here, there's still some more that we, I, that we want to look at. You see there's plenty of games set up for this weekend. So now we're going to look here at the Mariners versus the Astros. Well, the Mariners, what can you say about them? Last place in the league, 32 games behind the Astros, who hold a 10-game lead over the second-place A's. You see the Mariners have lost four out of their last six. Ice cold up. Astros are average up. They have won four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, not a surprise at all here. You see Seattle is way down here at plus six. They are on a slightly upward trend, but still very low at plus six. Houston relatively stable for the most part all the way through. At plus 27, you can see that they have been as high as, uh, let's see, plus 29 back here on August 21st. And they're actually down to plus 22 the very next day. But you can see they've climbed back up and they're still amongst the best in the league right now. Again, at plus 27. So let's take a look at the totals predictor considering the over-under in the games in this series. Well, let's take a look. Seattle was playing in games trending under. Houston is playing in games trending over. Uh... The under might outweigh the over a bit. You might consider uh, betting the under. I would go with this more safe play and avoid betting the over under in this series. The volatility oscillator, you can probably imagine, as you can see here, that Houston is among the most stable teams in the league at plus 46 compared to Seattle at plus 27. 
And what happens here now, in, when you look at the uh, pitching matchups, you can see that Jared Cole is the best of the bunch this weekend at plus 1,073 as far as the pitcher profit oscillator goes. Justin Verlander, despite coming off a, a no-hitter, he's, he's just been a poor bet overall, which is kind of puzzling, but he has been at minus 1,284. Um, all three of the Seattle scheduled starting pitchers are in the red. So none of them are really solid bets. Also, you can have to take into account that the Astros have dominated at home. They're 51 and 17 at home and should have little trouble against the Mariners. Easily winning two out of three. And I would lean towards a series sweep for the Astros. So there you have it. Those are the, the matchups for this weekend that I wanted to cover. Um, so join us here for some NFL coverage very soon. Um, you can see some predictions there, but we're going to continue with the Major League Baseball predictions throughout the rest of the season. So enjoy the weekend, make your bets accordingly, and have fun, and we will see you next week.